Yes, guys, welcome back to the adventure. I mean, it's been a bit of a while, but there hasn't been that much football on. But I tell you now, today we have got a huge adventure. Today, we are going to Leeds versus Liverpool at Ellen Road, and I couldn't be more excited. Yes, it's a big clash, but I'm mainly going for the atmosphere because today I know that these two teams and their set of supporters are going to provide the biggest atmosphere going. Oh, I'm just so excited. Today is an all-important game as well because if Liverpool win, they are level with points with Chelsea and Manchester United at the top of the table. Leeds are looking for their first win of the season after drawing two to Everton and to Burnley, but obviously that heavy defeat to Manchester United uh, as well. So they're looking to win their first game. Liverpool looking to get back to the top of the league. It's going to be one hell of a clash. It's time to get to Ellen Road for this incredible game. Yes, we are here in Leeds. We finally made it. And the weather here is actually a lot warmer than it is in Manchester. So that's good. Yeah, the last time I was here, Leeds played crew and the atmosphere from the away and the home fans was absolutely electric. Today, I'm hoping it's tenfold that. I'm really excited to get to Ellen Road. Let's head there now. Let's enjoy the game and the Super Sunday. Yes, we are back at Ellen Road. It feels a bit different being in the main stand compared to where I was last time in the away end. But uh, yeah, it's good to be back. Okay, really quick team news at Ellen Road. We'll start with Leeds. New signing Dan James doesn't start. He's on the bench. It's the usual suspects for Leeds, really. They've made one change uh, following the Burnley draw. Uh, Junior Burpo comes in at left back. That's the Leeds team. And for Liverpool, yet again, it's the usual suspects. Harvey Elliott, though, comes into midfield. He's getting a start. No Roberto Firmino, Diogo Jota, Mo Salah and Sadio Mane will lead the front three. I'm just going to really pick it up now. Let's go. Forward, they look really good 
move down this left hand side, Junior Faber and Jack Hamilton has got the beating of Trent Alexander Arnold every time. He needs to do that more. to give Liverpool the lead. But yeah, Liverpool took the game by the neck after their goal, really, really dominated and deserved to be a goal up and they should have made it two or three. Salah really got a lot of room on the right-hand side. He cut the ball across, Sadio Mane somehow missed. I think it was blocked because from the resulting corner, Virgil van Dijk's really towering header was cleared off the line. Liverpool had a few other chances. Harvey Elliott has drew the goalkeeper into a save. Uh, Thiago's had the ball in the net, but that got ruled out for offside. There's been a catalogue of Liverpool chances. And with five minutes to go, Leeds finally started getting the ball moving and finally put a, together a string of passes. And Rafinha uh, was, came out on the left-hand side. He played Rodrigo in, who crossed the ball, and it was Luke Ayling who came in at the back post. Um, and he needed it over. He, he really should have got better contact on it. But the ball was a little bit too high, so all he could do was knee it over the bar. And yeah, as electric as the atmosphere has been, the half-time score is justified. Liverpool have been the better team. And uh, Leeds need to pull it out in the second half if they want to get anything from this game. Half-time, Leeds nil, Liverpool won. Let's go to the second half. Also, shout out to the Leeds United Matchday programme. It's seriously one of the best in the Premier League, if not the UK. Really, really worth it. £3.50. Definitely get yourself a copy if you go to the games. Oh, this is 
terrific block. It looked like it was a sure goal. What a, what a block. Thank <laughs> you. 
United 0, Liverpool 3. And do you know what? I mean, Leeds have done the fans proud tonight. The fans have done the club proud. They've been absolutely exceptional. Sinking from minute one to minute 19. Liverpool, though, were fantastic on the pitch. From their first goal from the 18th minute that was tapped in, I think, by Mo Salah. I still need to get confirmation who scored that goal because my 4G still isn't working. Liverpool were fantastic. Van Dijk had a chance. Elliot had a chance. And unfortunately, Harvey Elliott had to go off with a broken ankle. Really hope he gets well soon. Liverpool added a second just at the half time on the 49th minute with Fabinho scoring from a corner. And it was three late on with Sadio Mane. Liverpool. The Leeds point of view, the final ball needed to be better, but there's plenty of positives you can take for the next games ahead. Full time at Ellen Road, 3 0 to Liverpool. And that is going to bring an end to my vlog. And my time at Ellen Road is over, but the atmosphere was absolutely electric. It was what I expected. Leeds United did not let me down with the atmosphere today. It was Liverpool's night, though. They won by three goals to nil to head joint top of the Premier League. And if you have enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button, hit that big red subscribe button down below to join my football adventure. And I'll be back real soon with another vlog. Peace out from Ellen Road.